iti ka unahera tina koutou. Ka ti ti wa mo ti whakapa na raru raru. Ohuatai mi kaira roro. Aku mihi uruha ki a koutou mo tina. Tina koutou katoa. It is time to heal. I'm John Cook. I'm a general practitioner in the eastern suburb. I'm a resident, third generation, living in South Brighton. The effects of climate change are devastating. This devastation is characterised in no clearer form than in the people of South Brighton and South Shore. The devastation we see as medical providers is expressed through the mental health of our whānau. In this environment, catastrophisation can occur and is occurring. Terminology used by media can be deliberately extreme. This has a profound effect on mental health. Tenets of good governance include honest community engagement, fairness and equity. It is not without thought that I have come here fully aware I need to protect and respect doctor-patient confidentiality. However, I believe I can freely discuss the cumulative burden of many weary, damaged individuals. I have the ongoing privilege to be involved in our community at the centre of engagement, sometimes in the very dark places in people's hearts, minds and souls. Our practice cares for 12,500 individuals in the area and we are better equipped than most to observe our community's response in times of trauma. The very thought of climate change and the enormity of the problems that it presents will and does overwhelm a significant group of vulnerable people. This causes overactivation of our flight fight safety response mechanism, medically known as a hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. There is a significant proportion of people that struggle with the constant stimulation of their HPA axis. This is expressed through family failure, violence, drugs, excess alcohol, neglect, anxiety, mood disorders, reactivation of psychoses and post-traumatic stress disorders. Chronic activation of the flight-fight response leads to a sharp increase in the incidence of fatigue, fibromyalgia, brain fog and other distressing syndromes. The of individuals who are vulnerable often feel powerless to influence outcomes and as such become disconnected from their ability to be effective, sorry, connected humans. <clears throat> This has a profound ramification with the ultimate disconnect being disconnection from self. And this is what we see in attempted and successful suicide. The reason I bring this to your attention is that continued uncertainty around the management of equity, safety and future of the communities in South Brighton and South Shore has led many residents into very dark and unhealthy places. They struggle with the inequities of opportunity, transport, roading, footpaths, bridges. They struggle with the obvious spend inequities on our neighbours. The elderly struggle to remain in their familiar environment. Stressed children are far more prone to become dysfunctional adults and to miss this is seemingly in this seemingly endless battle is tragic. Our next generation minds come first. Our decisions matter. The personal tragedies that I am witness to as a result of this effect of climate change are profound. We have a responsibility as leaders to provide an environment in which stressed communities can heal. We have had nine years of indecision and fighting. You, individually as councillors, have a responsibility here through your decision-making today 
to potently affect the outcome for these individuals and their whānau. Individual professional trajectories need to be contained. There is no decision here. You have had enough reports and recommendations. Today our seaside community want your support. I believe the best support is provided by option three, that which gives immediate on-ground activity, hope. We know this will instill confidence, engagement and recovery. Irrespective of how you manage the estuary edge and the projected long-term effect of climate change, there are 500 families that you are responsible for now. They would not be in this position were it not for the earthquakes. The earthquake ruptured our village. Your decision corrodes our soul. Our ground continues to shake as we and our families grow old. I want you to bring humanity to the estuary edge we live by. We need you to resolve our fate so in peace in our land we can lie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That does leave just over three minutes for questions. Um, are there any questions for Dr Cook? Phil. Thank you very much, John, for, for your deputation. Um, one disadvantage well, we're needing to is I'm wondering, in fact, if there's somewhere in between here that we can resolve this. Because a clear disadvantage with option three is that there, it would place a risk to council uh, if we adopt option three in itself. 